I mean, really, our whole point of doing the show is just to get together. And Mainly so that we have something to do when we and, drink coffee. And drink, you know. But, hey, if we could help. Uh, yeah. Any way we can. Yeah, you're too fucking stupid. Hey. 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 Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 153. Where we watch them so you don't have to. Ooh, yeah, and this week you shouldn't watch it. No, no. Why'd you make me watch it? I mean, I kind of feel like maybe you should. So this week maybe. we watch a movie called Pathogen. <laughs> yeah, 2006. Yeah. Uh, not rated. 68 minutes, so it's short. Very short. Yeah. It didn't really feel short, though. No, it didn't. <laughs> uh, directed by Emily... Higgins? Higgins? Yeah. Haggins? Yeah. I, don't, I can't read Oh, yeah, yeah, Haggins. Haggins. Emily Haggins. So she was 14 when she wrote and directed this movie. 14 years old. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty impressive, man. A 14-year-old girl directing a horror movie? Yeah. I was horror obsessed at 14, and I didn't direct no movie. Yeah, I mean, we both were. Yeah. And we were, we were talking about this, like, I remember, vaguely remember way back when we were 14. Way back. None of the girls that we knew <laughs> were into horror movies. That's pretty impressive, yeah. right? A 14-year-old made a movie. And it was a cohesive movie. Like, it had plot and story and acting and things. Yeah. Uh, and this uh, starred, uh, yeah. you know, if you want to call it starred, this had Rose Kent McGlue and Tiger Darrow and other unknowns. Yeah. So I don't imagine that she was a hyphenated name at that time because she was only not. 14. <laughs> she probably Rose probably McGlue. wasn't married yet. Or Kent, yeah. But yeah. Uh, so what was it about? It's a biotech lab uh, that was working on nanobots yeah. to cure cancer. To cure cancer. But instead of curing cancer, it accidentally turns people into zombies. And then the rest of the movie is them trying to figure out that there's a zombie outbreak and then survive the zombie outbreak and then fail to survive the zombie outbreak. I was just saying, none of that actually happened. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so that's just a bit. Yeah. So. You know, what did we like? Um, I like that it was made by a 14-year-old kid. Yeah. And a girl. And That's just, freaking awesome. And starred pretty much. All little, kids. Little yeah. kids. And then there, the adults in the movie had to have been probably parents or teachers. Yeah. And none of them could act, but... No. Eh, no. You know, I thought that was cool. It's a 14-year-old kid making a movie. It's not like they had an open casting call or anything. Yeah. It, it, they used they who, used they, who knew. they knew. Yeah. It would be like if we made a movie. Even if we made a movie now. Oh. We'd be using people we knew. Yeah, for sure. And that'd be it. I'd be calling up teachers from the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Katrogi! <laughs> we need a teacher! <laughs> Mr. Roche! <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have seen adult actors and adult directors do way worse than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this was at least on par, if not better, than Leaf Blower Massacre 2. <laughs> <laughs> Picture in your mind what you think a 14-year-old cast would act like, and that is how they acted. That, it literally is. There was some awkward stumbling pauses oh, there. yeah. Right? Like you forgot the lines. There was a lot of line reading. You could yeah. tell them move their eyeballs. It was the adults, though. That's the true. kids weren't line reading. They had their lines memorized. That's true. The adults were the ones who were like looking in the camera. And you could which, see them look into the side yeah. reading and moving their eye spectacles. Yeah. I, yeah. The eye spectacles? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, um, you can have that one because I know that's oh, yeah. your thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, 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 yes, I also like that thing. <laughs> the uh, the score was decent enough. There wasn't a lot, but there was kind of kind of that. Which I, for being a young kid, <coughs> I didn't even know to put something like the, that. Like the movie. background music, yeah, yeah. And there yeah. were a couple actual song songs in it. Yeah, and I can't help but feel like, and I think you said this or I said it. I am almost certain that the music featured in this movie was done by one of the cool teachers who had a band. Right. We had that teacher. And if we had done a movie, she would have done the soundtrack. Right. So that was, that was pretty cool. But we were in a band at the time, though, too. Well, yeah, we well, would have done some a, of the music, too. A very too. loose band. But, dude, we I mean, had we... a couple garbage cans. And a suitcase and, and, a and suitcase spoons for drums. and a two-string and, guitar. It was not a, a band. I'll whoop your ass <laughs> into the grass. No, no, no. <laughs> You will You're not pass. You know, cool. I think what ties all this together, and what really was the best part of this for me, was it hit my nostalgia bone so hard. Yeah. Um, when we were that age, I could see us doing this. Yeah. 
So let's see, this was in 2006. When, so we would have been that age in the what mid 90s. We would have been that age in about 96. 96. Yeah, we're, we're about 10 years older than the people who did yeah. this. Yeah. So you know, the 90s were a great time. Yeah, and it's a and lot of that had that vibe. Had this bit. had the equipment that they had in 2006 been available in 96, we would have done this. This is what we would have done. Yeah. yeah. And we would have been super serious about it. Oh, yeah. And convinced that it was going to be, like, our big break. Right. Oh, yeah. I think that's why I like this movie. It touched me because it was like, oh, man, this takes me back to being that age right. and believing I could do shit. Yeah. Unlike now, I'm old and bitter, and it's like, I can't do fuck everything. I hate Life is over. All of you I hate. We're married. We got kids. We own houses. We, we, we can't do anything. We got responsibility and bills. And this week sucked ass. And giant ass hemorrhoids. Yeah. Got to stick the prep H up in there. And go. Yeah. But I'm missing the tube, so I got to use my finger. Oh. Uh, Buttroid. And obviously, it was a zombie movie. We like zombies. Zombies are awesome. Zombies are great. Although, you know, they're kind of overdone at this point. Well, but yeah, still, but they're I still like fun. Yeah. Yeah. Even though they were kind of just humans walking around with a little bit of like spirit Halloween makeup on. Yes, it was spirit Halloween right? makeup. Oh, were they around back then? Of course yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I like the short runtime. Yeah, that's always a good thing. Sixty-eight minutes, man. That's a great way to start the day. A, a nice, quick, short movie. Yep, yep. Can't beat that. This one's you. Okay, I really respect the fact that they had zero budget. Yeah. I, I mean, this was not. Even a, a fifty thousand dollar movie or twenty thousand dollar movie, I would be surprised if they had more than a couple of grand. And I'm almost yeah, certain most of that went to equipment, camera right. rental, lighting, they, they probably... boom mics, things like that, which they did have because we saw them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, that's but... pretty impressive. Look, you made a movie for like no money. So anyone out there who says, oh, I really want to do a movie, but I, you know, I don't have the money and I can't figure out how to get funding. Fuck you. Look at these kids. These kids did a movie with no money. So one thing I liked about this movie, <laughs> well, continuity yeah. was really good. I don't think that there's only one scene I noticed when they were at the lunchroom eating pizza. At one, one part, his he had to have almost full piece, and the next it was almost gone. Yeah. And they keep going back and forth. Well, I mean, he he's a teenage boy. It wouldn't surprise me that he took that piece of pizza and just like, oh, yeah, I remember doing that. <laughs> but then, then he had a full piece again. Well, he bought another one. <laughs> These kids did this movie with decent continuity. Yeah. You can do it. And decent editing, too. Oh, I mean, shit, you know, yeah. I thought it was cut together decently. You know, I mean, for, uh, for being a kid. It, it, the the scenes made sense how they flowed yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, for, and it wasn't just a bunch of smash cuts, either. No. Which, no, I mean, no. fuck, man, if I made a movie today, that's what I would do, because smash cuts are easy to do. Right. Um, it, there wouldn't be any fancy, but they had, like, wipes between yeah. scenes, and, and they, <laughs> they had, uh, you know, Iris in and Iris out. It wasn't a lot, and it was... <laughs> <laughs> wipes. It was like what you could do in Windows Movie Maker, but still, they thought to do it. Right. That's just cool. It wasn't just smash cut, smash cut, like our show is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Screw you. We're doing something at least. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, uh, I like the ending and the oh. whole ending scene in the grocery store. It's just that was the best part of the movie. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it took too long to get to it, but that was a cool part. Yeah, and you know, that's kind of where most of the stuff happened. And it, just, it wasn't a happy ending for a kid to think, "Oh, everybody's gonna die." So that was nice. Like and the that. grocery store, I really like that. We we've both worked at a grocery store. Oh, yeah. We worked together at a grocery store for a few years, um, and it was kind of cool to see. Hey, look at all these products that are gone now. Yeah. Jimmy Utron soup. Yeah. You know, stuff like that. It's, it's just a little slice of life. It did bother me that the soup was in the baking aisle. Yeah, that was Because strange. on one side of the... And I thought at first it was an editing thing until they did a long shot out. And no, the soup's on one side and there's cake mix on the other. Who the fuck does that? That's, uh, that's, what, we, that's what we like. What do we not like? <sighs> so... The acting wasn't great. No. I feel the, like most of them weren't even acting. No. No. <laughs> As I see this cardboard box, pretend to be this box talking. Yeah. The, um, the kids were a little better than the adults. Sure. Because yeah. they were having were. fun. The adults were like, all right, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah. Quick, yeah. You know? But none of them were, you know, actors. No. Actors. I, none of them. I don't think anybody was actually an actor yeah. in this. But, hey, um, the lighting and the sound, both are pretty bad. Again, you know, a lot of this comes with the budget and the indie aspect. Ooh, we, say, we say that a lot, yeah. and it's true. 
But really, I mean, uh, yeah, all of the words matched up with the mouse, true, which true. is better than some movies we've seen recently. Well, yeah, and there probably wasn't any ADR or anything on this. No, no, oh no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know that they know what ADR no, was. Yeah, <laughs> the automatic dick tingle. Oh, it's an R. Dick rip, rip, dick rumple, dick. dick. Dick uh, ripped ringing. Eyed, ringing. Dick ringing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Advanced dick ringing. <laughs> the production value was really bad. Mm. Um, again, you know, obviously. No money. No money. They're doing it. It's like a home. It looked and yeah. felt like a home video. Yes. It's seriously what it felt like. Yes. That's actually a really good. I didn't think about that. But yeah, you're right. It felt like it was a home video. Yeah. I mean, I have band practices from way back in the day that look like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, nothing bad about that. But uh, you know, that's the times, the equipment, yeah. experience. <laughs> the camera work was kind of. <laughs> yeah. No. Some of it was handheld and they didn't have a steady cam. No, it was a little sway. Yeah. I was like, man. And, and here's the thing. I get that there was no budget, so they couldn't afford to buy a steady cam. I totally get that. But you can buy a rig, even or you can build a rig um, with a counterweight on it that yeah. you can even put like a cell phone camera into if that's what yeah. you're using yeah. to provide that steady cam feel yep. so that it's not shaky. Right. Go watch the episode of Leaf Blower Massacre 2. He goes on a whole yeah. conjunction about that. The whole steady cam thing to yeah. me, it's, it's really important. It really, really is important. It makes a big difference. Because I mean, we get seasick. My butt feels like it's going to puke. Oh, I and think I, that's called pooping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it made me have to poop. Ah. Um, but yeah, you know, hey, hey, hey. there wasn't much gore. Uh, you know, but I can forgive that because it is what it is. There's a little bit, you know, like it's the spirit Halloween makeup. Yeah. <laughs> and some of it, I kind of feel like the actors were wearing like their own clothes. Yeah. And they didn't want to get blood on yep. and ruin their own clothes. I yeah. get that. Yeah. You know? Not much for effects <coughs> or makeup effects. No. I mean, there was a point where a zombie kid was biting the arm of a girl and literally there was nothing. He would yeah. just go, um, and then spit. I'm like, oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Exactly. What the heck that was, was that? That was what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, that is what it is. You uh, know, the pacing was kind of off. Yeah, For being slow. as short as it was, this was a long movie. It, it was, a, most of the movie was kind of boring. We were checking, we were doing a time check about every 15, 20 minutes, <laughs> and that's not a good sign. Yeah, it was, it was just very slow paced. Not a whole lot really happened. Oh, yeah. But I feel like if they had sped the movie up, if they would cut stuff out that dragged, the movie would only be like 20 minutes. And yeah, it would be a short. And then it would be a short. Right. Yeah. But I get it, hey, you know. But I'm not, you know, I don't feel like I wasted time watching it. So. No, no, I actually, I'm glad we watched it. Yeah, me too. I've seen it twice now, because I watched it myself, and I was so impressed with what they did that I wanted you to watch it with me. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's cool. Yeah. Um, the plot was a little confusing. Very I don't know what the hell yeah. was happening half the time. Yeah. Maybe that because we couldn't hear half of it. <laughs> that could be. <laughs> well, I don't know. Eh, well, yeah. You gotta speak up. You gotta whisper in our earwax hole. Poopy! <laughs> Poopy. The zombies were stealthy? What the fuck was with that? That was driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. There was a scene that dragged on far too long where they're walking down the street and there was a zombie behind, like literally right behind like the Like two hole. feet behind. And they didn't say, they're looking, like you see in the peripheral, they didn't, it was driving me crazy. I'm like, they're, 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 it, it would be like I someone don't... being behind the couch. Uh, we would notice them there even if we didn't turn around. Just looking to talk to each other and be like, oh, hey, <laughs> there's someone back there. Well, plus, we've already seen him on the camera. Why? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is there a third head between us? Yeah. It's limp. It is limp. <laughs> oh no, that's good right there. <laughs> Look that way real quick. Look at this. Look, isn't this great? <laughs> um, Alright, now look at me. Look at this side too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I should like put hairspray and wear it like that. Yeah, you should. Go to work on my hair like that. <laughs> I look like half of Bette Midler. <laughs> or not look... Bette Midler, um, yeah, Bette Midler and Hocus Pocus, right? Yeah. Isn't her hair kind of yeah. like that? You look like you have a bad toupee that got blown up by the wind. <laughs> I'm like, Trump dump. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Anyway, so, what, what, let's rate this thingy. You know, all in all, my rating's going to be a little higher than it would be had it not all been kids. Okay. And by a little higher, I mean three points higher. <laughs> yeah. 
at least three points higher because it's not a great movie. There's a lot of problems with it. I'm not glad. I'm not unhappy that I watched it no, twice. No, 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 no. And I'm pretty. I'm very, very impressed with what they did. Yeah. And it it, it made me think of like, okay, what it would be like if your kid made a movie, right. or if my daughter made a movie when she gets older. Right. And right now she's four. She can't hold a camera. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so to me, that was a big part of this movie was knowing. The people who put it together were were in fucking middle school when they did this. Right. They were in probably what seventh grade. Yeah. Eighth yeah. grade. Probably. Yeah, but probably seventh. Seventh. Yeah. I guess. That's insane to me. Yeah. Uh, so because of that, rating it against kids' movies or movies made by kids. Right. I'm gonna give it a four out of eight. You know, this was a solid ass effort. Yeah. So, fuck, man. You made a horror movie at 14. Right. That's cool. Boom! High five to you, little girl. Yeah. Although now she's 27. Yeah. <laughs> so she's not... It'd be creepy for me to call her a little girl. That's, still, that's true. That is true. Hi, oh, little girl. Uh, so I give it a four out of eight. That's pretty good. Three points higher than I would if this had been done by an adult. Yep, and I'm, I'm with you there. I, uh, you know, I'm going to give it three out of eight. Uh, and mainly just because it was done by a kid, 14 year old kid. It's horror movie zombies, and for a kid to want to do that at that age, it's super cool. They did fine with what they had. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Had it not been, same thing. I This would have been between a zero and a one. Yeah. But for the fact that they did that effort and they actually made a movie and did all that, hey! You, so I'm going to give it three out of eight. Yeah. Which I think that's fair. I'm going to have to see what other movies she's done. Yeah. And see if I can't hunt them down. And maybe we'll do another review of one of her movies. I would recommend watching this. If you have kids especially. Yeah. Fuck. Watch this. Watch it with your kids. And be like, this is what you can do if you set your mind to it. Yeah. Do Don't let anyone want. tell you you can't make a movie. You want to make a movie? Look. Here's someone who did it. Yep, do it. Let's do some research. <laughs> How are we? While he's doing that, if you want to check us out, you can check us out at facebook.com slash stupidmovies, Instagram at stupidmovies. I'm on there at the Horror Punk. If you want to go look at nothing on his page, at Dr. Sketch Turner, you can also email us at stupidmovies at outlook.com. That was pretty impressive. You got all that in one shot. I, uh, uh one fell swoop, baby. Oh, she produced it, too. Nice. She was 12. Oh. She was not 14. She was 12. Yeah, it's even more impressive, then. And, yes, she's done other movies. I don't have anything else. Do you got any nope. shout-outs? Not really. Shout out anyone out? I'm going to shout-out Rob McBride. Hey! Check out Rob McBride. He's an awesome Check dude. out that dude. He's pretty cool. Yeah. He's got the same name as me. Yeah. Oh. Bye, friends. I look like Jim Carrey with the hairdo from Ace Ventura. I look like Drew Carey. <laughs> Why can't people understand? I got a short attention span. Short attention span. You've got an emo thing going on with your hair. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> are you, uh, you going to cut yourself? I got to go cut my sack <laughs> open. Just because it gives me a boner. Oh. Uh.